After the success of the Goal Setting Summit earlier this year, the Burnout Prevention Project is back with another women-only event, and this time it's geared toward recognizing the rest, boundaries, and creating good habits. So we're here with Kelsey and Grace to get all of the information on that. Welcome, ladies. Hi, thanks for having us. Hi, super excited because yes. Kelsey and I, we know each yes. other, and then your, um, your event is fantastic. So what can we expect from the event? What are we going to see? Yeah, so I mean, we have some awesome speakers. We have uh, Melissa Marshall and Michaela Shell coming back from our summit in January. So, really, we're just going to talk about we have all these goals we set in January, and we have these New Year's resolutions we set, and all these things we want to accomplish. But then, come the middle of the year, we might want to relook at what that looks like and really reset what what we want because things change. Mm -hmm. That's true and I think a lot of people have very lofty mm -hmm. New Year's <laughs> resolutions and then they get to this point in the year and they're like some of them maybe first of all don't fit in with my lifestyle mm -hmm. or things have changed mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, or sometimes you're just like maybe that wasn't reasonable mm -hmm. of an expectation to put on myself. So you yeah. mentioned a few people that are going to be speaking. Who else is speaking? What kinds of topics are we covering? So, Michaela Shell, she's going to come in and primarily talk about what are your priorities. And so she leads us through a beautiful uh, meditation exercise. Mm -hmm. And with that meditation, it's really going to be centered around looking into your future. Uh, and I don't want to give too much away, but if you were to look <laughs> back and think about all the things you wish you would have done, what would you have changed? What would you have done differently? And what really actually matters? Because I think as we go through our day to day, we mm -hmm. think things matter, mm -hmm. and then we realize that we're actually just getting caught up in the whirlwind instead of focusing on the essential things. And mm -hmm. so Michaela is gonna be great. Melissa Marshall, if any of you know Melissa, she is just amazing, full of energy. And she mm -hmm. is going to talk at the end, and again, don't wanna give too much away, but she is all about um, releasing those things that you know maybe it was a goal and now things have changed I mean you mentioned I'm having a baby in yeah. August and mm -hmm. so a lot of the goals I set at the beginning of the year I only have a couple months left in a sense. Mm -hmm. now. and so I'm really excited to look at what can I be more realistic about this year and feel good about it when December 31st 2022 hits mm -hmm. and especially as women we have so many demands on ourselves whether it's work or family or even mm -hmm. just things at home projects we want to work mm -hmm. on and of course setting goals is so important because one thing that I've learned especially over the past year and partly due to TikTok <laughs> um, <laughs> is the value of visualization mm -hmm. and really That's trying true. to figure out what is important to me and what's not what am I wasting time on worrying mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. that just isn't worth it and do you mm -hmm. find that as well yeah I would say it's all more about the expectation we set for ourselves too though and like when we talk about releasing and letting things go and changing and being okay with things flexing and changing it's, it's all about we also tell ourselves that it's not okay that we change mm -hmm. and so it's changing the mindset in our head and releasing um, expectation is probably the hardest thing. And it's very, it's like tug of war, right? Mm -hmm. It's important to set goals. It's important to have a vision, but it's also important to find peace and joy where you're at. And so we'll talk about that a lot because I think, again, there are so many pressures that we have, especially as women and in the workforce, whether you're working or, or staying home with kids, uh, we all have pressures. Mm -hmm. And so it's really about being at peace where you're at, but still having those, those goals that you can get excited mm -hmm. about. So if we're ready to move into that next phase and come up with some goals and you know reanalyze what we're doing, how can we sign up and when is the event? So the event is on June 14th and it's at Rustic Oaks um, in Moorhead, which oh. is a beautiful venue. We really wanted to give the retreat feel to things and uh, you can get tickets on Eventbrite. If you look up the Reset You Retreat, you can find it there. Otherwise, you can just look up the Burnout Prevention Project um, on Eventbrite and you can find us there. That's fantastic, and the link is on your screen, but of course you can just search Eventbrite, Eventbrite as well, and it says reset your Align What Matters in 2020 ticket. So yes, thank you guys so much for joining us. I think this is going to be so impactful for the women that attend. Hopefully mm -hmm. I can make it over there, but yes. I'm, I'm <laughs> so excited for your event. <laughs> Thanks again. Now make sure that you stay with us. We have more coming up on North Dakota Today, including a closer look at some of your favorite steals and deals as well as our favorite $10 DIY craft of the week.